with there. And I thought it was so useful that I'd share it here. So what I have here is a, a MEP model. This is a plumbing model. And I'm going to bring in a link. So I'm going to just load in a ductwork link and hope that nothing blows up. I probably should use the smaller model. So I'm going to bring in the, the ductwork link. And what this tip is, is how you can copy and paste elements from a link to your current model. Okay, so here's my ductwork link. If I zoom into the corner here, and I tab, and I'm just gonna select. So all these ductwork, this is in my link. So I'm just gonna quickly tab, 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 and select all this ductwork. And if I go up to the top, notice I can actually use copy. I can use control copy. If I click control copy and I go down to paste, I can paste a line to same place. And guess what happens? It's actually pasting those elements. It's gonna give me some, some warnings based on, um, or not some warnings, some of them are updates or, or what they're gonna uh, take, take properties from the current file. I'm gonna click okay. And then I'm going to turn off our link and then you'll see that our elements have been copied and pasted from the link into the current file. Super useful tool that um, Hopefully you don't have to use too often, uh, but uh, but I think it's a, a tip that that some of you guys can probably probably gain some some value out of. So let me just turn off the link so you can see what happened there. So there we go there. Now these duct these ducts or fabrication ducts in this case these are actually in my local file. So Tim, thank you so much for the tip. I appreciate it. If you guys have a tip. Um, Feel free to email me. If I choose it, I will be sending you a free T-shirt. So that was our little tip of the week break. Thanks for sending it in, Tip. And I hope that guys, I hope that uh, that added some value to your lives. I know I showed someone this week, and they were like, face palm, pretty cool. <laughs> okay.